You may know it as America's largest community of brick homes, but tonight Huber Heights can stake a claim as home of the next mega mall. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. We broke this major story just after two this afternoon on WDTN.com. Today, the development called The Heights will be right along Brant Pike, just north of Interstate 70. It's expected to be a shopping center with a park-like feel. Jordan Burgess has been working on this story for weeks. He's live with first details. Well, this is a story we've been trying to get for you for a while, and basically what we found out is that this field, now full of crops, may one day soon have stores and restaurants popping up from it, and it could also lead to the growth of more than 2,000 jobs. From billboards to backhoes, the signs of development are everywhere, but if the latest project in the works is approved, it could make these mountains of dirt seem like mere molehills. I think the growth is really nice. It's, we were continuing to grow. I think it's going to be just make it a nicer community. Two News has learned from sources that the city council is on the verge of voting on an agreement that would take 150 acres on Brant Pike, just north of I-70, and turn it into a host of shops, restaurants, offices, and entertainment facilities. The plans we've obtained talk about the project being a park-like shopping center with pedestrian trails. According to sources, the project is expected to generate more than 2,000 jobs and nearly $1 billion in state and local tax revenue over the next 30 years. And the project would join others in that same area, including the city's new aquatic center, which is under construction, and the Carriage Trails housing development. Those in the area say it shows how far the city has come. One time this is all used to be fields and fields and trees. <laughs> now the question is, will the project draw shoppers? It will be just a short drive from the I-75, I-70 interchange, but many are curious to see what ends up being there. Got a lot of them, but it depends on, as I said, it depends on the stores. If the stores were the proper stores, I'd probably shop there. Now, nothing is final with this project yet. A council meeting is set for Monday night at 5 o'clock, and that's when council members are expected to vote on this project. And, of course, we'll bring you live coverage of that meeting on Monday as Huber reaches for new heights. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.